Today, we're going to continue on our series of the format function in numbers. Today, we're going to do the cell tab within that format. So what I have here is we have a sample worksheet, and we're going to go through all of the functions that you can do in the cell tab of format. So first thing I'm going to do is click on the one cell. You'll notice over here in cell, the data format is set to automatic. And all that simply means is that whatever you put in here, right now I have text, so it's going to automatically format it as text. If I click in there and put in a number, it will format it automatically. It assumed it was a percentage there. So that's what automatic does for you. You can come back and put automatic in here and it will assume whatever it wants. All right, that's the automatic function. The next one down is a number. Now, if you hit this drop down, you'll see we have automatic number cell percentage. And if you look in this column, I have those all listed so we can go through them separately. So here, this is a number. Some of the features that you can do in a number, you can have the decimal set to automatic and negative numbers. So if you want decimals, you can click and you'll notice it's putting in the decimals that you've added. So if you want three decimals, there you are. And I have negative number as with just a minus sign. You can also have it in red. You can have it in parentheses in red. And you can have it in parentheses in black. Those are the options that you can have. You can also have the thousands separator, whichever you like. The next one down is currency. And again, just to show you, drop down, currency is checked. So as the currency, we have two decimals. We have the thousands separator, and we have the accounting style. Just to show you, if you turn the accounting style off, the dollar sign will appear before the first dollar numeric. Take the thousand separator off, and that's what it will do for you. Notice currency, we have it selected as USD. You can go through, and there's a whole slew of worldwide currencies. If we wanted to do something in, uh, let's see, British pound. Notice you have, if we do the, take the accounting slide, you see you have the British pound sterling sign in, in the front. So you could select any currency that you like. The next one down is the percentage. Now, here, again, the drop-down, you select percentage. Number of decimals, you can have three. Now, when you type in a percentage, you have to put the decimal point in. So, for example, if we highlighted that and I put in one, two, three, four, you say... It added the three decimals after, but <clears throat> if that's not what you wanted, then all you do is you're going to click in here. Whoops, sorry about that. Highlight it. One, two, three, decimal, four, five, six. Boom. Okay. The next one down is your fraction. And again, the fraction, you see accuracy is in halves. 
So the number here is going to show you a half. If you change that to quarters, it's going to show you three quarters based on the number you keyed in, which is one, two, three, four, five, six. If you go to eighths, sixteenths, tenths, so we'll convert that. Okay? Numerical system is the next one. And again, fraction numerical system. So we're using base 10. For whatever reason, if you wanted to use base 9 or whatever, you can select these. The number of places represent negative numbers using a minus sign. Okay? All of that is available to you. Scientific. Now, scientific here, um, I have this right now as a number. So, to demonstrate scientific, we have, if I do number and we do the thousand separator, you see the number is $12,345,678. If I change, not dollars, but 78. If I change it to scientific, if you're displaying scientific data, this would be the corresponding equivalent. The next one is text. So if you define the cell as text, all cell content will be formatted as text, including numbers. So if you put in a numeric, it's going to left justify the number indicating that it is text. If you see up here, the sample is left justified. So any text will automatically be left justified. Any number is going to be right justified. The next one, date and time. So the date will be displayed month, day, year. And time is uh, 7 or 8 p.m. or, you know, that's, you can display it in numerous formats. Okay, so here is just the hour and p.m. Here's hour and minutes, hour, minutes, and seconds. This is military time military time with the seconds. So you can choose whichever you want. And that's how it will display it. If you go here to the date, you see the different formats for the date. You can do day, month, the day of the week, the month, the day, and the year. So if we did that, it would automatically convert it to that day of the week, depending on the year that you put in. So you have a lot of options here. You can choose whichever one fits your needs. Duration. Well, duration is, the, I have it set as custom units. You'll see it's week, day, hour, minutes, seconds, nanoseconds. If you unselect each one, you can see the effect that it has 176th week, second day, zero hours. You can do automatic units, all right, and then select. You can do weeks. So you got 176 weeks, two days. So if your durations, you can, you can build a custom one or you can use automatic. The next one, two, three, four, five, six are pretty much uh, unique to numbers. You can use the next one is going to be a checkbox. Your data format, you hit checkbox. You can use these if you're doing a shopping list, a party invitation list. You just highlight the cell, choose checkbox. Now what happens is... If, let's say, that person's coming to the party, click on it, and it'll put a check in it. Basically operating on a true and false, your checkbox. The next one is a star rating. This you can use if you're 
grading, um, let's say, music or films or whatever kind of list that you may create. And you just click on the number of stars you want to give it, and it will adjust. A slider. So if you look at the data format, you'll see when you click on a slider cell, you'll see this sliding bar. Starts at 1, goes up to 100. You can change that over here. See, the data format is slider, so you're going to leave that. So minimum of 1, or you can change that. So if you start at zero, all right, so now if we go over here, zero. So if you wanted to use a slider as your rating system and you want to start at zero, you could. And it's gone up to 100. You can increment by one. All right. Now, also, it says, see, decimals automatic. We can leave it at that, or you can put a decimal number of decimals in if you'd like. Negatives, if we do in red, and suppose we come in here and we start with, uh, let's see if we can do, we'll start with a negative 10. Let's see what happens. There you go. So, you could start with a negative number and go all the way up. So, if you wanted to give something a negative rating, I would probably do this. That way, you you would know that it was a negative. And there you go. And you could also use your thousand separator. But this operates in the cell by itself on a sliding scale. The next is a stepper. Now, stepper operates much the same way, except instead of the slider, you have the up arrow or the down arrow. Okay? This is set. You see the, the minimum is 1, maximum 100, increment of 1. You could change the increment if you wanted to go, let's say, to 5. Say, and it's it's moving up based on the increment here. Okay. The next is the pop-up menu. Now, the pop-up menu we've we've done in earlier episodes, but to reiterate, your pop-up menu you. Click on the down arrow, and you're going to see a number of items. The pop-up menu defaults to item 1, 2, and 3. You can click on the plus sign, add an item. You can also start the first item with a blank. All right, so that when you come in here, this will start it as none. So that, depending upon what you put in your list here on the pop-up menu, it'll start with a blank, and then when you get to the cell, you can go in and click on the item that you want. That's your pop-up menu. To remove one, click on it, hit the minus sign, and it's gone. The last is our custom format. So, custom format, we have a sample here, edit custom format. You come in here, you can call it whatever you'd like. Um, and you have, you see all the different items, data format, delete, Cancel that. Here's your custom format, date and time. Uh, just select whatever you'd like. 
and it can be custom based on your particular needs. All right. So that's a quick overview of what each of the data format elements are. Next time, we'll talk about the borders, conditional highlighting, and different coloring that you can do within your spreadsheet. I would like to take this opportunity to thank you for viewing our content. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe so you can see all our training videos as well as links to download our podcast.